Hey everyone, welcome back to Knowing Nuclear. Today we're continuing our series on isotopes for society, looking at how radioactive isotopes are used in the medical field. So, as I mentioned previously, we are using these for both diagnostic purposes as well as treatment purposes. But before I dive into that, let me tell you some fun facts about medical isotopes so you can grasp just how important they are in our society. So if you think that these are rare, think again. They're actually used in more than 40 million procedures every single year. So it's really, really, really common. Of these 40 million, 90% are diagnostic. To put this in perspective, in the developed world, one in 50 people will have one of these procedures every single year. So it's important. Since diagnostic procedures are so much more common, we're gonna start out by talking about them. So what happens? We have our patient and we put the isotope inside their body. This can be done either through inhalation, so they breathe it in, injection through a needle, or ingestion, meaning they eat it and then it circulates through their body. So it goes in, and then we have our special detector, which is set to measure a certain energy level. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a sec. Then the detector looks at the patient, and it can form an image of a bright spot, for example, and that might be where the problem is that they're trying to detect. So how does this work? Well, we know that when an isotope decays, it lets off a certain amount of energy and we know the energy that we're looking for, for the isotopes that we use for these. So then we can set our detector to a specific sensitivity so that it only picks up the one we're looking for. And we can form a pretty good image out of that. If you've ever had a CT scan or PET scan or a SPECT scan, you have encountered nuclear medicine. And it's not scary, it's very safe, very effective. We really like these. All right, so the last thing that we use medical isotopes for is for treatment purposes. If you've ever heard of radiation therapy, this is what we're talking about. Primarily, it's used to treat cancer as well as heart disease and thyroid disease. So how do they do it? Once again, we use the energy that comes from decaying isotopes, and we can concentrate that on a specific part of the body to kill the disease or the problem. So, for example, here we have our patient. He's upset because he's got a problem. So he's gonna go and get some radiation. We have these three radiation sources, and what we'll do is we'll blast them at his body and where they all overlap. That's where the highest energy is gonna be concentrated. So that is to limit the negative effects to surrounding tissue and only treat the problem area on him. So it's really good, very safe, very effective to treat these diseases. So a really important thing in Canada is the vast majority of the isotopes that we use for all of these come from nuclear reactors. Canada specifically at the Chalk River reactor in Ontario, we produce tons and tons of these. However, with reactors being shut down over time, this actually creates a shortage in medical isotopes, which could prevent people and patients from being able to get the treatments and the things that they need. So it could end up being a problem down the line. But all in all, isotopes used in the medical sector are extremely safe and an extremely effective way that we can use radiation in our society every day.